Hello and welcome to the first day of a brand new week on. And you've broken me down, internet. I'm finally going to do the hotly anticipated, muchly requested HelloFresh. Okay, so it's not quite that hotly anticipated or muchly requested, but some people have been asking me to do it for quite some time, so I'm finally going to do it. So if you don't know what HelloFresh is, it's a uh, food provider slash service slash website where you browse a bunch of tasty looking, hopefully tasty looking meals and you say I want that one, that one and that one and then they will get all of the uh, the ingredients, the instructions um, what and all the dietary stuff and they will bundle it all together for you, shove it in a box uh, and send it straight to your house. So you've effectively got uh, some meals that uh, you know it's very low effort as far as sourcing it, you just have to cook it yourself and I know what you're thinking, oh god it's another week on where Mike's going to have to cook. Well, hopefully I don't poison myself. And I've gone 37 years without poisoning myself so far. And the only bloody time I have been poisoned is with KFC when I was on my honeymoon of all places. But what are you going to do? This is not about that. This is about HelloFresh. Right, so, yes, back to it. HelloFresh, you can either choose meal uh, boxes containing three meals, four meals, or five meals. So, because this is a week on, uh, and that doesn't quite add up, presumably because... Uh, if you ordered a box of seven meals, they'd all have gone off by the end of the week. So that's pretty good that they don't offer that unless you were going to freeze it. But we're going to get on to that one. I'm going to order the first box with four meals. And then later in the box, uh, week, I'm going to get a box with three meals. So I've already browsed the website. I have chosen uh, my, my uh, first four. They are on their way today. So I'm very much looking forward to it. There's a mix of recipes in there which uh, take 20 minutes. So that's their rapid cook range. Um, there is also some big, fat, greasy, gluttonous looking meals in there, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, you could also get some meals that are sort of calorie light. So I think it's below 650 calories, something like that. But we will go into it as the week progresses. But yes, very much looking forward to this. This is only a evening meal week on. Um, they do offer some like puddings and um, lunches, but it's not really a part of the whole Hello Fresh deal. So yeah, only going to be doing evening meals. Although I'm saying that I'm also probably just going to either tell you or show you what I had for lunch and breakfast on certain days. For example, today I had a yogurt for breakfast uh, and then a sandwich and some crisps for lunch. That would have been pretty boring to, uh, to, to vlog, wouldn't it? So I'm just going to jump straight in to the evening meal once it comes. So we are getting on towards uh, mid-afternoon. I think it's like due within the next half an hour or, or hour or so. So I'm keeping my eye on the tracker. It's sent by Yodel though, so it could end up in a river somewhere. So hopefully that doesn't happen. But um, yes, I'm going to stop talking. I've already jumped on the scales as well this morning. So we can see if I'm gonna any gain or lose any weight this week. Hopefully not um, gaining. I mean, this is not with the intention of losing weight this week. All of HelloFresh's recipes aren't geared around losing weight. And also I feel like I need to point out this isn't sponsored in any way, shape or form. HelloFresh haven't approached me. I've just yeah, decided to, uh, to finally buckle on down and get cooking. This is going to be a high effort week on because some of these recipes can take like 45 minutes to cook and I, I'm not a chef. I don't know what I'm doing. Can I not just warm up some Alpha Bites in the oven? Uh, but alas, no, I can't, because this is not a week on Alpha Bites. I will be doing that next. I'm not going to, but maybe if you break me down enough, I'll do it in five years. But we'll see where that goes. Right. Yes, I've jumped on the scales. I've had my lunch. I'm now thinking about getting some dinner. I suppose, though, um, I need to get a little bit of exercise. Trying to, up, trying to up my movements. I'm going to go and do a bit of a wander outside in the woods or something. But after that, I'll come home. I'll stop talking and I'll do some cooking. Right, Grace is joining me with this one, so uh, let's uh, crack on with the week. Our box of goodies has arrived, so let us get, oh, amateur, amateur. It's sticky, sticky tape. It's sticky, sticky tape, it's in the name. <gasps> Our recipe cards are here. I'll not spoil what they are, but we have a big bag of goodies. What is that? Oh, is that like, is oh, the bag of... That, oh, that's handy. It's it's a giant pillow, essentially. Yeah. Um, we have... What do we also... Ooh, ooh some uh, vouchery things. Some 
Ooh, right, well this all seems really nicely packaged. Let's all go through it, make sure it's all there, and you shall see what we have through the course of the week. Right, lovely jubbly. Are you hungry? I'm absolutely starving. So you're ready for our first meal of the week on HelloFresh. Mm-hmm. Right, well, let's kick things off with ultimate chicken, bacon and chestnut mushroom risotto. Never cooked a risotto no. once in my life. No, so, neither have I, so this is going to be very interesting. Yes, 40 to 45 minutes, two of our five a day. There are two portions in this bad boy. Looks lovely, to be honest. Also served with a uh, pea shoot salad. Ooh, Don't think I've ever had pea shoots. Like peas. I hope so. Or shoots. Don't know what that tastes like. Right, so as you can see on the back, we've got all of the ingredients here. We've got our nutritional info as well. So per serving, 853 calories, which, I mean, I guess, is that just like loads of creamy rice and some I chicken? Guess so. That does seem quite high. It, yeah, it I is mean, a dinner, so that's okay. Yeah, it's uh, skin on chicken as well, so that's going to add some extra. Um, calories on there so ooh, we're going to do some marinating some frying some baking we're going to be using all the culinary techniques so uh, yes I'm excited for this yeah me too so for our first attempt at cooking a risotto so if you wouldn't mind doing the honours and cracking open bag 36 a it is it's Christmas so that's the pea ooh there's quite a lot there yeah. more than it looks there Mushrooms. Uh, rice. Ooh, risotto rice. Well, that's heavy. Apple cider vinegar. Cool, okay. Tomatoes. Mm. Tomato. I'm not a huge fan of tomatoes, but. An onion. Right. And chicken stock paste. Chicken stock paste, right. And we've also got the Parmigiano Reggiano Dop. Don't know what the Dop means. Uh, we also have some bacon lardons and some uh, chicken breast fillet skin on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the garlic. Right, so what, what's the first step? So, uh, first step is marinate the chicken. So, in this bowl, we've got some olive oil, salt and pepper, and two cloves of garlic that have been nicely grated. And then into that goes our two skin-on chicken breasts, which Grace is just going to get all nice and marinated Is that bone? What is it that? It is bone. Look at that. Ooh. Well, we're getting extras. No, that's going in the bin. <laughs> So yeah, Grace is just uh, going to mix that all up, get it all marinating, and then we'll get on with the next step. Right, pan on. In goes lardons. Those a bit. So we're going to cook these for two or three minutes. Meanwhile, Gracie is dicing onion. Then we'll move on to the mushrooms in a second. Oh, these are smelling good already. Bacon has been frazzling for a few minutes, looks and smells amazing. And then joining it are the mushrooms, the onion, and some more garlic as well. That, uh, oh, it's already smelling so good. Meanwhile, chicken's doing its thing. Bacon, mushrooms, and onions looking good. So, in goes the risotto rice which it says to mix up and then cook for one to two minutes until the edge of the rice goes translucent. So, uh, yeah, keep a close eye on your translucent rice. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it kind of looks like some of them have gone translucent. So, next thing goes the stock. What do you mean? Don't panic me. Yes. Okay. Stir in the boiled water from your measuring jug. Yes, see? Risotto has been boiling, so... it's We don't have, like, an oven-proof pan, or at least I don't trust this one to go in the oven. So um, we're going to shove it in the old Lucky Pyrex, which we then cover up. And that will go in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. There we go. See you on the other side, Mr. Risotto. So while well, that's in the oven, time to cook our chicken. So in it goes, skin side down. Ah, what sleepy. are you doing? Oh, yummy. <gasps> Don't forget that bit of skin. Yum, 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 yum. Right, so this is going to cook for five to six minutes. 
according to the old instructions. Uh, fry until the skin is golden for five, six minutes, then turn and cook on for one minute on the other side. Then um, it'll go on a baking tray and into the oven for uh, 20 to 25 minutes. So I'll just shove it in alongside the old risotto. And make sure you get all of the old, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> all exactly. that garlic. Mm. You know, I don't think I've ever cooked a skin on chicken breast myself at home. Uh, thighs, but not breast. No. Well, not that I'm doing it myself. I, I have my trusty, competent helper. Glamorous assistant. Glamorous assistant. Come Sorry. On, babe. Oh. All right. right, it's had five minutes. So, ooh, look at that. Look at that. Yummy. Another minute, then that will be ready to join the old risotto in the oven. Ooh, going all gooey look. Another minute down. And there, oh yeah, it spat me earlier as well. There is our chicken. So that is going to go into the oven uh, for 18 to 25 minutes. Right, there we go. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. It smells good. Well, whilst that cooks, Gracie is just preparing our pea shoot and tomato salad. And I have to admit, we are on the first day of a week on HelloFresh and I've already fucked up. I've thrown away uh, half of the apple cider vinegar that I should have left uh, to go towards our salad dressing. So we're going to have to uh, improvise with a uh, balsamic. Is it close? Dunno. Dunno. But it will, uh, it's not going to make or break the dish. The, the star of this dish is going to be that risotto and chicken. The side salad's just there to, you know, look green and give us some, uh, some of our five a day. Are you getting on? Yeah, I've done the tomatoes. Thanks, mate. Right, I'm going to stop talking and um, get out of your way, I think. Well, I've got to say, maybe my apprehension about this was a little bit unfair based on this smell. But the proof will be in the eating. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is that this uh, series is hashtag not spawn. Um, so in no way am I sponsored by HelloFresh. Um, but one of the things they do offer is a good old-fashioned affiliate thing um, so if you like the look of this food after I've tried it um, I will leave a link in the old description so uh, if you do decide to get some yourself um, you can get a nice big fat discount uh, and I think we'll get a little bit of kickback as well um, so we can get boxes in the future is that going to be a good thing I don't know but um, yeah if you fancy you go links in the description hashtag not spawn and here we go Oof, wow. So, Grace is going to see if it's... Oh, it's gone a bit thick and... Yeah, could do with loosening up slightly. Some water in but to be fair, it does say add a splash of water if it needs loosening. Just so. do a little bit and then we'll do the butter. Because the butter might loosen it slightly. Say so when. Yeah, that'll do for now. That's true. You can always add. You never take away. Yes. Speaking of butter, shall we add it? Yeah. Seems like an awful lot. It's this. It's what's in the recipe, mate. And um, I mean, it's what uh, eight hundred and fifty-three calories. So you know, it's got to come from just somewhere. Just in the butter alone. Just yes. Oh, it does look good though, doesn't it? It does look very and nice. It smells it's lovely. Big, it's going to be a big portion of rice, to be fair. Shall I put in the uh, yeah. Parmigiano Reggiano? Well? So we put in three quarters of this. So yeah, don't get carried away. No, I want to. A bit more. No, a bit more. A bit more. Mm. That'll do. Okay. But it's cheese. Um, I'd say a bit more water. A bit more water. Okay, say when. Yeah. I don't even think I've ever had a risotto. I don't think I've eaten risotto before. Yeah, in my life. Right, I just need so, to try it to see if we need any. <gasps> well, don't tell me. Pepper. Don't tell me we are. I'll try mine uh, on camera first. Oh, that's a big bit to try. Is it good? You're gonna hate it. Oh, but why? It's salty enough. Okay. But it needs. Is it cooked? Is the rice nice and soft? Mate, it's delicious. <gasps> Hurry up! Then. It's just bacon and cheese. Oh. <laughs> right. Okay. So we just uh, need to whack out the chicken and then serve this bad boy. So 
two skin on chicken breasts later. Whoops. Oh, look at it, they smell it of smells like garlic. garlic. So good, and it looks lovely and juicy, those chicken breasts. Oh, and look at this crispy bit here. Shall I give it a taste? Go on then, shall I give it a taste? Mm. Oh, mate. Mm, there we go. Oh, oh I didn't hear that. Crunch. Mm. Right. Mm. So, there's our chicken. And there are our risottos. Look at that. Look at that. It smells so good. And uh, I kept the uh, the leftover parmesan this time to sprinkle on there. Not too much for me, Tom. Sprinkle on there. Right. Let's it's try this. It is. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Right. First, a bit of the risotto. Oh my god, that is thick, succulent, oh, cheesy, rich. Wow, that is good. Not too salty, very nice. We've already tried some of the chicken, but mm. lovely and crispy, and garlicky, nice and moist, lovely and moist. And that skin is got that right, nice sort of level of. Saltiness and charredness. That risotto is lovely. Mm. Maybe I'm going to have to start ordering risottos. Right. Enough of that. I mean, I suppose we should have some greens in there as well. Minus the, uh, the correct vinegar, of course. Mm. Do they taste like peas? Nothing like peas. <laughs> Slightly peppery, sharp dressing. But you know what? I like pea shoots. Mm. Right, don't care about that though. I'm gonna go and have this. Well. That was very nice, wasn't it? Oh, I'm full. <laughs> so we were, we were just saying, actually, um, that you could probably get away with having like almost half of what we had. Definitely of the rice. Like yeah. you still want your own chicken breast. Yeah, I could probably do with more chicken, maybe, if I'm being yeah. particularly picky. Yeah, it was like picky. a breast and a half, wasn't it? Yeah, so we all like two breasts. So maybe like a whole breast each. Yes, and yes. And then like half a portion of rice. Although the greedy side of me did eat all the rice, obviously. Yeah, oh yeah, it was demolished. And I also had more salad than I've probably had in a long time. <laughs> so um, yeah, it was not too much of an effort either like no. a lot of the time it was just sat in the oven doing its thing um i could see us cooking that outside of oh yeah definitely this so yeah, yeah. yeah super duper happy I'm gonna walk it off though now because i feel like it's sitting in my belly a bit it was quite stodgy in it a is good way. it's stodgerific so i'm gonna do some walking and then go home and uh, collapse bit. yeah some sort of food coma is to be had <laughs> I cannot do a week on and not show you, can I, Basil? So here you go, lovely viewers. The reason you tuned in to this video... <laughs> oh, isn't he a babe? Isn't he a babe? Oh, right then. There we go. That was the first day of a week on HelloFresh. And what a bloody good start. I, yeah, I was a little bit apprehensive um, about risotto. Risottos are not my thing, um, purely because I've never really had them. So that was like, well, why would I want them now? That was Gracie's choice on the old menu. And what a bloody good choice it was. Nice and uh, mushroomy, lovely salt kick from the meaty bacon, lovely creamy rice, which, yeah, just, I guess the, the stock comes together with some of the butter and the, um, the the rice and just makes nice gloopy, thicky, sticky, all coats your throat and your mouth and yeah, very, very nice. Would heartily recommend that one. So um, yeah, I've got a feeling if anything uh, is, is to, to go by from today, it's going to be a good week. So uh, we're going to make sure there is a variety of dishes to try though. So if you want to find out, do a smash that subscribe button or support the show on Patreon, 
Um, all the links are in the description. As I mentioned earlier, um, I'll also jam a link down below for HelloFresh so you get um, like a big discount off your first box. Um, I looked at the link earlier and um, you can get th three portions, three meals for two people for 4 dollars including delivery. Whether that's still the case, if you click on the link, I don't know, but it is today, which seems like a bargain, like do one and then, you know, you could, you could bin it off. But if you like it, you might want to keep it, considering it myself, but it's going good. All links in the description. But yeah, thank you very much for tuning in. Um, I'm not going to get too excited because when I get excited, things happen and I, uh, I don't want bad things to happen. Uh, but thank you very much for watching and I shall see you on day two. Thank <laughs> you.